Epilepsy is one of the most common neurological disorders in the world. About 150,000 Americans are diagnosed with this disorder each year. Now, despite the prevalence, though, a lot of people are misinformed about seizures and what to do if someone is experiencing one. Dr. Gabriel Martz, the director of Epilepsy Center at Hartford Healthcare Air Neuro Neuroscience Institute, is here to give us some more information. Thanks for being here, doctor. Thank you. I love your dress. Purple is the color for epilepsy, and we're an epilepsy aware, awareness month, so that, perfectly. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Dress. Good serendipity. So seizures really can cause a wide range of symptoms. So how can you tell if someone is experiencing a seizure? Yeah, well, so the, 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 part, the symptoms of a seizure depend on where in the brain is having the seizure, because the brain controls all of our bodies, so we can have any number of things like a funny smell or a, even hearing something that's a little unusual. But if you're watching someone, the most common things you'll see someone do is kind of stare unresponsively for a minute or so, or fall and have a full body convulsion, like you might see in a movie. Those are the most common sort of obvious symptoms of a seizure that you might see you know, watching someone have a seizure. Yeah, so what can we do to help? Well, if someone's having a, any kind of a seizure, but particularly a convulsion, it's really safety in the situation is, is the most important thing. Most, most seizures, thankfully, stop on their own. But when, you know, if someone's driving a car, that's obviously a dangerous situation when they're having a seizure. So you want to make sure the environment is safe. You want to move any sharp objects or anything that could be risky. Sometimes move the patient a little bit. Uh, airway or making sure they can breathe is very important. So laying them on their side so that any, anything in their mouth would fall out. You don't want to ever put anything in their mouth. People used to say spoons and wallets and things like that. Whatever you put in their mouth is now one more thing that could you know, clog their airway. So don't, don't do that at all. Just roll them on their side. Okay, roll them on the side. How course, important is a diagnosis? Yes, hurt. Call nine one one. Absolutely. So, how important is a diagnosis for management of seizures? It's really, really critically important because a lot of things look like seizures that aren't. So, we want to make sure we we have the correct uh, diagnosis and are offering the right treatments because obviously, if you have the wrong diagnosis, you're not going to get better. So, it's really important to see an expert in seizures who can understand the differences between what is a seizure and what could be a seizure. So briefly, what support is available for those who are suffering with epilepsy? Now, so many impacts come from seizures. We always say seizures always find one more thing they can take away from you. The independence is the most challenging aspect because a lot of people with seizures can't drive. And sometimes, depending on the nature of seizures or other problems, have trouble with school or with work. And so the real support is to just try to figure out any person's goals and how can they achieve them. We call that living well with epilepsy. Yeah. You can't get to work, but you can otherwise work. Let's, let's support you in that. If you're having trouble with childcare or breastfeeding after, you know, with on meds, all those things. We just want to figure out what's important to you and help you do it. And for more information, thank you, doctor. Some really valuable information and hope for people out there. So you can go to hartfordhealthcare.org slash neuro. Thank you, doctor.